All right, last segment, bringing it home here on Thursday night. Um, if you've watched all of them, thank you for watching all of them. Um, but appreciate your time. Uh, try to try to put in a bite-sized chunk and a lot of information to give and wanting always to be as transparent as we can. Please make sure we continue to follow um, public health recommendations. I know it's phase four, we're back to normal, but it, it is a new normal. So even getting back to phase four, social distancing, wearing masks, personal hygiene, all those things are very important. Um, please make sure that that helps us get back to school um, by doing so. We're gonna continue our approach of putting people first, sharing resources throughout the summer that can help um, you sort through this with your family and with our students. Um, again, just because it's summer, please know that we know it's not just summer. It's a very different summer. We're gonna be working really hard on reop reopening. We're gonna be working really hard to communicate with you. And we're gonna be working very hard to make sure that we're still reaching out to connect to support your families. And so if, if you need anything, please know we're here. Please know that we wanna keep supporting you. Um, again, we got our food stability um, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays through the summer. And, and the COVID line, please reach out. Please know that um, we understand that this um, global pandemic, um, economic crisis and social unrest, all of those things are, are causing um, things that we need to support you and your families um, through. So please know we're here um, and we'll continue to support you and get you whatever we possibly can um, in, in whatever way we can. We'll be doing these updates every other Thursday. Um, so July 9th will be our next one. We'll put that out um, and make sure that every other Thursday you have some sort of update to let you know where we are in the process of planning, that process of moving and opportunities to be involved and be supported throughout the summer. As shared in another segment, just wanna remind you, we do have two thought exchanges out there. Please consider um, sharing your thinking in it. One is for our students. What are they thinking about reopening in September? And one is about uh, for our families um, as parents and caregivers. What is it that you're thinking about reopening in September? Very open-ended questions meant to be starting points. We're gonna do a lot other, uh, a lot more thought exchanges and focus groups and specific surveys as we move through the summer and talk more and more about reopening um, as we do it. Please know throughout, we, we understand you on your end, us on our end, we're all doing the very best we can. We know there's challenging times. We know there's troubling um, thoughts that are out there in our world. We know that um, in our heart and in, in the way that we go about things, we are all doing the very best we can. And so let's keep, um, let's make sure we keep that in mind. Make sure we know that in doing so, we need to stay together. We need to stay focused. We need to keep talking. We need to keep sharing. Please keep reaching out, um, email, phone, um, all those type of things know that even though it's like I've been saying, even though it's technically summer on a school calendar, we are still here. Our counselors are still here. Our administrators are still here. We still are here to support. We have plenty of volunteer staff that are 10 month teachers that are going to be involved through the summer to help out. Um, so just know we're here. We're going to stay together. We're going to stay focused. We're going to get through this. We're going to figure out what reopening is. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to be there because that's what we do. As we keep moving forward, right, we're gonna make sure that our choices are about our hopes and our thoughts in the right part of our brain. Brain research is really clear. If you're not safe and if you're threatened and um, if, if you're overly worried, you're not gonna be in the part of the brain that makes, you, makes the best choices, that executive state, those prefrontal lobes. A lot of blood flow is gonna to go to the survival state and to the limbic system. And so, Please know that um, we all have those moments. We all have the moments where the blood flow goes very deep into our brain, into the brain stem and the, and the core, um, and, uh, and, and we'll get through it. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. Because we are Livonia Bulldog Strong, very proud of all the accomplishments we've had over the last few months from students, from families, um, from our staff, um, from our entire community. Uh, we will continue to get through this. Looking forward to celebrating kindergarten graduation and graduation of class of 2020. Boy, what a class. Um, what a memorable time to graduate. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Please stay in touch. Please stay healthy. Please be well. And again, we'll have our next update on July 9th.